Hello all my bricks and bricksters. I'm Director E and today I have a brand new video to share with you for today. Now, this is actually a uh, part two video where uh, I explain some few thi things in part one and then uh, there's more in the content for part two. So you're watching part one. Part two will come out tomorrow, but you might be wondering, what is it? So, for in case you didn't know, one of my favorite mobile games that I like to play on my phone, which uh, my, I'm starting to uh, make my video right now, it's Pokemon Masters. Now, when I first saw Pokemon Masters, I was like, eh, what? Like, I didn't really get it. Like, I wasn't really interested in it. And then I saw a lot of uh, fan service it's in a lot of gameplay, and that made me realize that maybe I'll try in a little bit. And then when I uh, played it, it was actually pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. There were some, like, cool characters from the uh, old games that I re really enjoyed to uh, play a lot. And uh, got a, a lot of time to, like, uh, do some strategies. So that's why Pokemon Masters is one of my favorites. But, also, of course, you might remember two years ago, about two years, it's been a long time, I kind of lost count. That I actually uh, made a top 10 video li list for my uh, Witch Sync pairs that I would like for Pokemon Masters EX. And that got, it was actually pretty successful. Not by the views because it has little views. But it was successful because most Sync pairs that I picked or uh, I would like for my uh, Wish lit list finally got in. There were some few that I did not expect. Like for example... I was thinking that Leon would have, have Cinderace because I thought their rule was that they're only allowed to uh, use one Pokemon per sync pick. They're like, oh no, they can't have double. Well, that's not allowed, but I guess I'm wrong because Leon now has Charizard. And speaking of which, I'm really excited for, for the uh, Leon rerun because I missed Leon and I felt Oh, bad, so I saved up a lot of gems for like two year years. Well, I don't know, it's been like two years, but a long time, and I'm really excited to do it. But besides Leon, there are some few other sync pairs that uh, I would like for like to uh, be in the game, so that's why I'm doing my top 10 favorite sync not favorite. My top 10 sync pairs that I would like for Pokemon Masters EX. This one's a very interesting one because there are some few sync pairs that I would like for Pokemon Masters EX. It's an idea though. I don't really know if it's confirmed or not. But anyway, before I want to start off, don't forget. This is part one of the video. Part two, with the exception for Scarlet and Violet. I'll be counting down my favorite, not favorite, uh, what, uh, Paldea and Sync pairs that I would like for, uh, uh, Pokemon Masters EX. So that one's coming up real soon tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, right now I want to talk about some, like, other Sync pairs that I picked for this, uh, Wishlet list. But it's going to be a very interesting one, so, um, yeah. Now, the uh, color of it, or the uh, background for the uh, sync pair, we'll, ha we'll explain what typing they are, but just in case you don't get it, there will be a little note uh, on the uh, picture to uh, tell you what typing it is. But anyway, I'm excited to do this because it's going to be a yeah, very interesting one, like which sync pair here's that I pick would uh, be in this list. Let's get started. All right, for uh, number 10, it's a very interesting choice, but it was also kind of a hard decision. I wasn't really going to put her on this list, but it might be a very interesting choice. But for number 10, it's... Clara and Scolipede, a poison type sink pair. Okay, so it was either Clara or Avery, but I kind of like Clara right, because of uh, she has a way more... Her uh, mean side there in the uh, Pokemon Scarlet, not Pokemon Sword or DLC in the uh, Isle of Armor. And uh, I've also, of course, thought of any, any ideas of Clara mean some few uh, 
some few celebrities of Pokemon like um, Lucia. Yeah, but mainly, of course, whereas I would think Clara would be a perfect choice for uh, the Pokemon DL, not Pokemon Master, her since uh, Gloria and her uniform. The uh, dojo uniform from the Isle of Armor has came into Pokemon Masters, and I thought to myself, maybe they can add some more, more of the uh, characters from the Sword and Shield DLC into the uh, game. And there is one more, but it's a surprise soon. But anyway, I think Clara would be a very interesting choice. You might be wondering, what about the Galarian Slowbro? To be honest, I don't really think Glorian Slowbro would be a perfect choice for Clara in Pokemon Masters. But I think Scolipi would be a good choice to, because of the way it, it's designed for a Clara, it would be a perfect choice for Pokemon Masters, especially if it has a, a Dynamax factor. It would be very, very interesting. And uh, speaking of uh, Dynamax, number nine is a Another interesting choice, it's Milo and Shiftree. I know Shiftree is not really a very interesting choice for a Milo, but it was either Shiftree or Eldegoss. But I thought to myself, Milo is kind of like a, a, a jolly kindly, uh, type of farmer, er, despite his uh, big size, and a Shiftree is the total opposite of Milo and I thought to myself maybe that's a perfect sting pair for a uh, Milo to you so that's why I decided to pick Shift Tree. Also of course we need some more Galar or sting pairs because we just got uh, Gordy and Melanie and uh, Victor with her but anyway I think Shift Tree might be a very interesting choice but most importantly, I would really love it for uh, some more Galar nursing pairs because I really enjoyed Sword and Shield so much. So I'm I'm really hoping that uh, some more Galar nursing pairs would get in, especially with Milo. And like I said, I know Shift Tree isn't really uh, his disputed ace, but I think it would be a perfect choice for a a sync pair in Pokemon Masters. Now. Before I, I want to start out with some more, with number eight. Like I mentioned, there are some few that are some, some are Galar, some are not. But anyway, number eight, it's another one, and of course it's Kabu and Senta Scorch. Like I said, you might need some more Galar sync pairs before um, any Paldean star and sync pairs would uh, come out. I know I didn't say that before, but I feel like I should because since Scarlet and Violet come out, there might be uh, some more sync pairs, including some Paldean ones in the future. But anyway, I really think Kabu would be a perfect choice because as I was searching down what other sync pairs that should be in the game, I found Kabu and Senta Scourge, and I'll, I kind of have to agree because Kabu... If uh, they would put in some few more Galar Gym Leaders, they would definitely add in Kabu and Senta Scorch. And it, it would be totally awesome, especially with the uh, G-Max Senta Scorch with some few uh, G-Max moves. And I would be very happy if they did it. So that is why my Kabu and Senta Scorch is at this list. Alright, time for number 7. I know there has been some few... You like Kanto sync pairs, but there are still some few that are missing, and two of them on this list. And for number seven, one of them is Chase, and for the uh, Pokemon I picked for the sync pair, Farfetch. I wanted to uh, give out some uh, uh, some love for the uh, Pokemon Let's Go games because the two main protagonists of Pokemon Let's Go didn't really get a chance to uh, become a sync pair. Here, and uh, I kind of feel bad for them, so I decided to make some concept ideas for any uh, sync pair. Here's for uh, both the uh, protagonists and Chase, the uh, the male protagonist of Pokemon Let's Go. Well, I decided to uh, pick him, and I decided to give him Farfetch because I thought it would be really cool if uh, Chase would use Farfetch. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, I didn't really know what sync pair. Yeah, I would pick for him, but 
I think Farfetch would be a pretty interesting choice because of a. Uh, it would definitely match his style you know, for the Pokemon uh, Masters. Just like how uh, Nate, he has a Braviary. It makes total sense of how he would use use a Braviary, and I thought maybe Chase could have Farfetch. But anyway, that's what I'm thinking for a uh, Chase. And speaking of a uh, Let's Go, so number six is another choice, and that's. This time, it's Elaine, and for the Sync pair, your I would pick, it would be Clefable. To be honest, I had an idea for Chase for a Farfetch, but for Elaine, she was kind of a, a, a hard choice. It was either a Clefable or um, Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan, but since there are some few uh, other Pokemon, on sync pairs for a main protagonist, it was kind of hard because most of them have starters, most of them don't. But I uh, decided to pick Clefable because it was kind of a random choice. But anyway, I think Elaine would ha definitely be a perfect cho choice for Clefable. What do you think uh, Elaine should have? <laughs> now, time for the uh, top five. For number five, five it's a pretty interesting and almost obvious choice because it's Byron and Bastiodon. So far there are only seven gym leaders in Pokemon Masters from Sinnoh and I was thinking like hmm someone's missing and that's Byron and I was like wait when will they add Byron in and during the uh, Sinnoh arc, arc I was expecting that Bri Byron would come in as a uh, a spotlight scout, but it turns out it didn't. But maybe somehow in the future that Byron might come out in an event. And if he does, that will also will make me happy. And also, of course, it will finally complete the Sinnoh Gym Leader set because most Gym Leaders in, uh, are almost complete. I don't know which uh, other Gym... Oh yeah. Don't forget Galar, but anyway, there are some few uh, other Gym Leader sets that aren't really in uh, Pokemon Master. There's EX, but I'm hoping that Byron will. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there's two who more or that are kind of in, but not really as uh, playable characters in Pokemon Master's EX. So, number four, it's Tierno and Talonflame. Okay, to be honest, during the uh, Unova villain arc, I was pretty excited that Hugh would come in because Hugh is my favorite Pokemon rival. Well, the second is Glion, but anyway, when I uh, when I heard that the uh, Kalos villain arc is coming, I was thinking like, maybe they would finally put the uh, Kalos trio in. But nope, we only got one, but at least they did Tierna. Oh, an NPC player for a, uh, a Pokemon event, but like I stated before, I think it would be a very interesting choice for Tierno to have Talonflame as a, a sync pair because Tierno used Talonflame during the uh, Pokemon on X and Y games, and I think Talonflame's an ac excellent choice. And for the reason why I picked Flying, because there might we need some more uh, strong Flying type sync pair. Here's other besides some uh, some other ones I can't really uh, count down right now. Now in the uh, games rather than the uh, my list, including Chase. But I think you know Talonflame as a uh, a flying type sync pair would be a very interesting choice. And uh, speaking of speaking of which for uh, Kalos number three, it's Trevor and Florges. Like how I said before, Tierno well, wasn't really a uh, an included sync pair, but he was an NPC. So Trevor is the uh, same thing. He's not really a uh, a playable character, but he's le at least a uh, NPC player in the Pokemon Masters event. But it would be a very interesting choice for Trevor to have the uh, orange flower or floor just because. Uh, just like Tierno, Trevor had a uh, an orange flat, powered uh, floor jet speak 
this in the game, and I thought maybe Florges might be a perfect choice for Pokemon Masters EX for two reasons. One, he used it in the game, and two, the style for uh, the orange flower Florges fits perfectly for Trevor. Don't ask me why, but anyway, I decided to uh, put Trevor on this list because why not? Uh, there's still some few more other uh, sync pairs that should be in the he playable in Pokemon Masters EX, but that's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Alright, time for number two. It's a very, very interesting choice because this one ha was in the game just like uh, the two others, but I was really bummed out that she wasn't in. If you don't know what I'm talking about, she is Mars and Perugly. I know that Courtney, he is a uh, fan favorite villain an admin, but to uh, for those who don't know, Courtney it is knit wasn't really uh, exciting for me because I'm not really a big fan fan for design. But for Mars, Mars, she's my favorite for the villain admin. So when I saw that uh, Mars isn't really an NPC play here. I was a little bit bummed out, but that's when I realized that I really wanted for uh, Mars to uh, get a sync pair with Pur Ugly. It's a obvious choice because Pur Ugly is her her ace and signature Pokemon, so that is why I decided to put Mars and Pur Ugly up in the uh, higher spot in this list. It's a very interesting choice. Because I like Mars, she's one of my favorite uh, villain admin ends in the uh, Pokemon on the uh, uh, franchise. But anyway, I'm really, really hoping that uh, Mars would get a sync pair, maybe in a, a special event. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, before I want to head off to my number one th one uh, sync pair that I would really like for Pokemon Masters EX. Here's a recap. Uh, oh yeah, Clara, Milo, Kabu, Chase, Elaine, Byron, Tierno, Trevor, Mars. Now, for my uh, uh, most wanted sync pair that I would really love for Pokemon Masters EX. It's a very interesting and uh, absolute obvious choice number one it's mustard and urshifu single strike style and here's the reason why that mustard is my most want on its same pair that i would like for pokemon masters ex for those that don't know mustard was the original champion of galar before leon and since leon's there what other uh, champion could be in the Pokemon Masters EX game than the Dojo Master or Mustard himself? And I think that Urshifu would be a perfect cho choice for Mustard as a Dark type sync pair because of a uh, one, it's single strike style. Like it would be a perfect big idea for Mustard to have in Pokemon Masters EX. And I also uh, thought of a uh, funny idea of how uh, Mustard can be played in the game. In most of the uh, times when uh, you see him around the Pokemon Center, you would see him in his uh, no normal casual form. But while battling, think he will get into his fighting form. His, uh, I don't want to say this word, his bat and ring in in fighting in style you know, that he uses to like... Bat, all the main character and his team. <laughs> I know I, I know I kind of like blinked out, but anyway, I would really like it if Mustard would be in the Pokemon Masters EX with the uh, champion rank, rank member, and also of course with a uh, another Galar, or Master Flag barrier thing, like you know, like how Leon has a. Uh, the uh, master or symbol you get what I mean right <laughs> but anyway yeah what do you guys think of my list is it a pretty interesting one 
If there are some few other sync pairs that you would like, like for Pokemon Masters EX, then go right down below in the comments of uh, which sync pairs that which you really like. If uh, if you like this lit list, then uh, make sure you uh, track it because there might be some few that might be coming out not the way I expected, or uh, some few that are not really expecting. And don't forget, part two will be coming soon with the Paldean in sync pair ideas. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, BDH, but I'm also known as the Brick Dragon Hero. That video was great, huh, Applex? You said it, BBJ. And if you want to see more of the Brick Dragon Hero videos, all you gotta do is subscribe. Follow Brick Dragon Hero on Instagram. Like for this video. Share this with your friends. And comment down below what you think of that video. And don't forget to check out the last video. So thanks for watching and have a brick day. Whoosh.